there is this quote that says that our happiness, there is an equation for it, and our happiness equals expectations minus reality. So you can imagine something when something exceeds your expectations because you had some expectations and then reality was so much better, then your happiness level is also so much higher because of that. But imagine at the same time, sometimes we have very high expectations of how we, want, we would like reality to turn out and then reality turns out and actually it's way different or way worse from how we expected it to be and then it leads to unhappiness and all of those negative emotions. I can, all of us have had those situations, right? For example, you expect to get the job and then you don't get it and now you feel all of these sad emotions but because you've had a certain expectation. So many times in our lives, those negative emotions are just being driven by us having expectations and not about the actual reality in itself. So it's not the actual event that's upsetting us, but just because we had a certain expectation about how we would want that event, that thing to turn out to be. Does it start making sense? So how can we actually flip this formula and make it work for us instead of against us? What, and what I realized that the moment we start exchanging or replacing expectations with gratitude, we even multiply our happiness and we feel so much better. Because gratitude allows us to tap in into the highest emotion. It's such a high vibrational frequency when you feel grateful for what you have and you feel ready to receive more. But at the same time, you don't have this expectation, like someone owes you something, you know, they will give it to you, like life owes you something. You realize that life is spontaneous, unpredictable, and there are many things that can go wrong or right, and it doesn't own you anything, and you just grateful for what you get. So by removing expectations from the equation and just replacing it with gratitude, we have the reality, how it is, and we find things to be grateful in our reality. And we're left also with happiness. So the things that we do have then is our reality that we would have had otherwise, and in any case, plus happiness, plus gratitude. And if anything, our reality would be even better because we are in the state of gratitude. I don't know if you've ever had a situation like that when you are complaining about something and then either someone else shares a story, something else bad happens in your life and you realize, man, why was I even complaining? How could I be even complaining? I should have been grateful for what I have. And I think life sometimes gives us those wake-up calls when we start expecting too much and being grateful for too little to just bring us more to the present moment and make us grateful for what we have. So let's be grateful for the things before we even lose them. And let's remove the expectations. But also what I wanted to point out with this episode, when I say let's remove expectations, let's just be left with reality and happiness and gratitude, I don't mean not to strive for more. I'm, I don't mean not to dream bigger. I don't mean that we don't deserve more. I just say that let's just strive for that. Let's be grateful for what we have and for our journey without having an expectation, without having an expectation and letting life just lead us. Does that make sense? Let me know if it does. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it helps you leave, lead a life of live a life of gratitude of true abundance and following your journey and really enjoying it thank you so much for listening in and i see you in the next episode tomorrow